Good afternoon, YouTube, and welcome to RV Daydream. If you just stumbled onto our channel and you want to watch more videos just like this, click the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell to make sure that you get notified whenever we have something like this going up. And what is this? Well, if you again new to our channel, uh, we are full-time wannabe RVers. We are currently in a home, however, we are in the last stages of selling this place and traveling full-time. And one of the things that we like to do is when we stumble across products that we might want to use in our full-time lifestyle, whether that be generators or portable power supplies or portable ladders or RV accessories, we may do a review of those things, which we've done quite a few. And if you haven't checked those out quite yet, as I suspect maybe some of you haven't, uh, go ahead and look at our playlist and it's under review items. And there's quite a few things there. And that's what we're doing today. We're gonna do a review of something that is probably gonna come in handy if you run into some of the situations that we do whenever we're out traveling. And one of them is coming up soon but let's talk about the product and why you may want this. What have you been up to? I've been riding on a daydream. So today we're outside in the cold Northeast Ohio weather. Actually, it's been rather tame this year. And the product that I wanna talk about is to make me a little bit more warm. <laughs> now, a lot of you probably like us when we go camping, like to have campfires. Everybody likes to have campfires. However, we found that some of the campsites, some of the locations, because of how close RVs are with each other, uh, they don't offer fire rings and they don't actually promote campfires. The only way that you could have a campfire also, so some places protecting their vegetation that's on the ground, is if it's a supported fire, something that is above the ground, something that ashes aren't falling onto the ground. And that's what I'm gonna talk about today. Life do produces this portable fire pit. It is really, really interesting how this thing has been constructed. You could see the box that it comes in, and this thing is heavy. It's over, it's gotta be close to 20 pounds. Um, it's definitely over 15 pounds, and I, I'm gonna think it's close to 20. Um, but look how small the form factor is here. Uh, very, very small. This is the way it's gonna come set to you, and uh, it came relatively quick. Uh, this was something that was sent to me at no charge. However, they did not pay me for this review. Um, and I really, I, actually, there's no kickbacks for this whatsoever, as they do not have an Amazon store as of yet. You can only purchase this direct from the link that I'm going to give you down below. Always my links are always in the description. And uh, unfortunately, uh, for me, uh, that doesn't allow me to give you my Amazon Affiliates account, yet I thought this was an interesting enough product that I thought I'd give it a, sh a, a shot. And of course, if I'm reviewing it um, and I'm posting the video, uh, it must be pretty decent. This is what it's going to look like. So let's go ahead and open it up. This is such a basic design. Again, I was very intrigued uh, by what it looked like uh, just from the pictures. Laser cut, as you can see. Very nice, it has the name. These little slits come into play. It's a textured, it's like a powder coat and it's textured. I don't, I don't know how to describe that other than there's a, uh, a bit of a texture to it, you can see. You can also see how dry my skin is from these uh, Northeast Ohio winters. Okay, so there you go, that's what this looks like. These are relatively flexible as far as the ends. All right. As you can guess by the way these slots are. There you go. There's one. There's no instructions with this. D does there need to be? I don't think so. There's two. And got to get the other side in. I still love the fact that there's only, you know, <laughs> four pieces, just four freaking pieces. Although it looks like I'm taking forever just to get these last two pieces together. There we go. And I'm sure that changes. All right, let me grab the camera and show you this thing. How cool is that? 
I mean, this is it. This is the, the whole fire pit. Now, this is where you need to be concerned. See this slot that's in the middle? Guess what that does? Of course, that allows the air to enter underneath to feed the fire but it also allows the ashes to drop out onto the ground. If you get into a situation where you go to a campground and they say, the only way you can have a fire pit is if it doesn't put anything on the ground directly, um, you're gonna need a baking pan to go underneath here. Not a big deal, I see those things at yard sales for 50 cents. We have a ton of them ourselves, um, but I wanna get some dimensions here so you can see what it looks like. So over 18 inches, as far as the depth this way, uh, we're at 11 inches, you can see there, not bad. And then of course the height, one foot. So not, not a bad size overall. So what does this thing do? This allows you to just basically break it out slip it together and be able to give yourself a fire. Now, as far as this thing putting off heat, of course, you're gonna have heat from a fire. As far as it radiating heat, I think these plates are a little bit too thick for how little the fire would be to actually radiate heat out. I'm sure they get hot, don't get me wrong. I'm sure they're warm, but as far as them actually putting out enough heat to, to heat an area, most likely not. All right, so what I did was go ahead and just put in two crumpled up pieces of newspaper down at the bottom and then light the paper through the bottom because it was kind of hanging out and I'm just letting it do its thing. Like I said, there's a little bit of wind going on here and these twigs are for the most part kind of dry. Um, we are in a spring thaw. These are twigs that have been laying out here for a short time, so there's a chance that they're still a little bit too damp, but I can tell that the fire is pretty much starting all on its own um, other than me just lighting that paper. So we'll go ahead and let this go until I can get a little bit of a flame happening, see what it looks like, you know, as far as really having a fire. Again, a roaring fire, no. However, I see people that put pretty good sized pieces of wood in here once the fire gets going and they have made or they have found grates grills griddles that sit on top that allow that fire to actually make it to where they can cook stuff on it i think one of the reasons that i'm so fascinated by this is it kind of brings back my childhood memories when my parents first back and this is in the 70s for you older people <laughs> um, my parents first bought a hibachi and having that little tiny grill and all the food it could produce and all the memories of uh, cooking out with it at the beach. Uh, really, this kind of brings back memories of that whole situation. Simple functionality, you gotta love it. What I wanna do though is I wanna see what this looks like after it's been burning for a while and then show you the cleanup on this and what it looks like afterwards after all that's said and done. Because a lot of people probably think, oh man, that probably looks like crap after you only use it one time. Well, we'll see. All right, so I'll have to say that charcoal really shines in this thing. <laughs> after the fire had gotten pretty well lit using those sticks, I came over and dumped a whole bunch of hard lump charcoal on here. This is just hardwood lump. Uh, and it took it a bit. It smoked quite a bit there for a few minutes. And I know that you can't see this on camera, but there is definitely a whole bunch of hot coals that are down there <laughs> that's trying to get out. <laughs> and by doing so, of course, they're heating all the rest. You can start to see, you know, where they've turned white, uh, where they started uh, catching this other hardwood lump on fire, basically. It's pretty well burned down. I'm gonna go ahead and let this burn down the rest of the way. And uh, after that, we gotta wipe it all down, clean it up and see what it looks like. Picking it up by these handles and uh, bringing it over here and it was real simple. Just set it down and then pulled these and they disconnected themselves and then those just dropped off. So now I'm just gonna let these cool off a little bit because they are hot to the touch still and uh, wipe them off and 
I'll tell you what, so far they look pretty good. Nothing real scientific here. I just got an old brush. Just uh, brush on it, see what it comes out like. That looks alrighty. And we'll check this one out. And it's just, I don't know. There's still coating on there. So it's definitely some sort of a heat of coating. I'm not sure if I just took a, a rag and wiped this off, it would have been just fine too. Yeah. Yeah, this coating is definitely a, a heat treated, you know, or for some sort of a heat resistance because I don't see bare metal there. Well, you know, it is just one time use, but yeah, that's not so bad. All the pieces, of course, could be carried by this handle, so if you want to find some way to secure it by the handle, that's fine, but I don't know. I'm just going to stick it back in the box here. I'm sure they're going to rattle around a little bit, but I think this would just do fine for now. Well, I don't know how easy to make my life, but it does give us the opportunity to do something that we may not be able to do. I mean, how nice will it be that if we go and decide to use this at pirate land um, nothing can be said because the fire is above ground it's not being affected you know affecting foliage or or anything like that and again all you have to do is just have a baking pan that will fit underneath of it and you're all set um, and you can find those like I said anywhere you go to the dollar store and find them for a dollar obviously but yeah, I, I think that this might be a nice addition and it takes up little to no space. I mean, whenever it's, you know, in the box, I could slip this pretty much anywhere inside this RV and we would <laughs> would never really even see it. So uh, the links will be down below. It's going to go right to the website for the company. Again, they don't have an Amazon store right now. And uh, just mention RV Daydream sent you if uh, you decide to call in and place the order that way. I appreciate it, guys. And as always, we hope to see you out there. Bye.